what the mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. Now, we become what we think about. And when we get excited about a goal, we're going to reach it. That's why it's been said, be choosy, therefore, what you set your heart upon. For if you want it strongly enough, you're going to get it. We can have anything we want. The trouble is that we don't know what we want. Sure, there's lots of little things. We want a new car, and maybe we get one. You want a new home, and perhaps you get that as well. You see, the system never fails to work. What we don't seem to understand is that it is a system. And if it'll work for you to get a new refrigerator or a car, it'll work just as well for anything else that you want. To truly understand the subject and the importance of goal setting, we have to realize that it is the very basis of success. It is, in fact, the very definition of success. Now, Earl Nightingale described success as the progressive realization of a worthy goal. And I heard Bob Proctor refer to that as the absolute perfect definition of success. And you know what? I have to agree with him. It means that anyone who is on course towards the fulfillment of a goal is successful right now. Success is not the achievement of a goal although most of the world would consider that to be success. Success lies in the journey towards the goal. You will find that happiness comes from the direction that we are constantly moving. Think about it for a moment. Children are happiest on Christmas morning before they open their presents than they are in Christmas afternoon. No matter how wonderful their gifts might have been, the anticipation is over. I'm sure they'll probably enjoy those gifts, but you'll often find that they're somewhat irritable on Christmas afternoon. You yourself might be happier on the way out for the evening rather than you are on the way home. We're also obviously happier preparing to leave on vacation than we are coming home. And believe it or not, we're happier moving towards our goal than we are after we've achieved our goal. That's why it's so important to set a new goal as soon as, well, as soon as the current one is realized. We should never stop this process. All the days of our lives we should be engaged in moving towards and looking forward to a new plateau to stand, a new goal to achieve. We are successful as long as we're working towards something we want to bring about in our lives. That is when we are at our best. That is what is meant to be by the quote, the road is better than the inn. Harold Melcher once said, live your life each day as you would climb a mountain. An occasional glance towards the summit keeps a goal in mind, but many beautiful scenes are to be observed from each new vantage point. Climb slowly, steadily, enjoying each passing moment, and the view from the summit will serve as a fitting climax for the journey. The proper goal will provide you with the necessary incentive to grow in awareness. Understand that you are a perfect expression of an infinite power. For you, all things are possible. As you become more consciously aware of your oneness with this infinite power within you, the awareness will be reflected in your results. Every aspect of your life is a mere reflection of your own level of awareness and thinking. James Allen wrote, Mind is the master power that molds and makes, and man is mind, and evermore he takes. The tool of thought and shaping what he wills brings forth a thousand joys, a thousand ills. He thinks in secret, and it comes to pass. Environment is but your looking glass.